Tonight here, Bellator 301, the prelims continue in the featherweight division. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds, we introduce first the blue corner at five foot seven, weighing in 145.6 pounds. In his Bellator debut, he enters undefeated with six victories, no losses, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting Jefferson Ponte. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at five foot nine, weighing in 145.4 pounds after making his professional debut inside the Bellator cage. Now he stands with seven professional victories, two defeats by way of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He fights out of Coconut Creek, Florida, introducing Cody. And your referee in charge, Blake Grice. Cody Law bouncing back from his first losing streak as a professional in his last fight, picking up a win over Edwin right, Chavez ready? in June. Ready? Jefferson Pontes expected to come out aggressive, although we wait and see how he will respond to the bright lights of Bellator. Hey, he launches a front kick to the face to, to say hello to Cody Law. <laughs> well, he comes from a Luta Libre background, meaning that stand-up being Muay Thai-based, a lot of jiu-jitsu. Wrestling's going to be the difference that you see in these two. Cody Law, very good NC2A champion wrestler, where you're nice. Pontes is going to have a difficult time in trying to get the traditional takedown on Law. We also talked about, of course, well, we talk about all our fights. We do our homework, John, believe it or not. And uh, we when we talk about Pontes, we expected him to maybe come out aggressively. But again, you, you never know until you step into the, the biggest stages in the sport well, how it, you're going to react. Exactly. And it's tough. You, you can look at all those prior fights, and he is. He's aggressive. He comes out really aggressive. Well, sometimes the big lights make you go, I think I need to take my time. And respect for Cody Law as well, who is in his 10th professional fight, all under the Bellator MMA banner. And again, coming back from back-to-back -back defeats and trying to pick up some more momentum here against the debuting Pontes. Pontes looking to, well, faint with that head kick and then finally delivers it. Law just glancing blow with the jab. Cody Law is very good with his hands. He comes from a boxing background also, not just a wrestler. So the kicks are the things that you, when you're watching Cody Law in the stand-up, when he's throwing kicks like that, that's saying that he's working on all of his game and everything because his stand-up, the boxing is there. He just needs to incorporate those kicks and start to affect the movement of his opponents. Law works with some of the best in the game at American Top Team Coconut Creek while Jefferson Pontes, he's trained with former Bellator champion Dudu Dantes and MMA legend Jose Aldo. Very nice comment. And there is ATT's Mike Brown. Mike Brown, the wizard. Just an unbelievable coach. You talk about a guy who's just, two's and two's all and three he thinks punches. about is fighting. That's Mike Brown. Two punches together. One, two. Yeah. Halfway, halfway. Being kicked by Pontes, the knee stomp on Law, and Pontes missing him with that right hand. He's starting to swing very wide. That's not always a good thing. Just over two minutes left here in the opening round of deep to the midsection by Cody Law. Again, attacking the, the calf, and there, Ponte setting up the right hand as a bait, looking for the single leg. Now Law defending well, balanced. Again, not going to be an easy thing for Jefferson Pontes to get as far as that traditional takedown. You see how Cody just fights it off. Turns the position. Law well, told us he felt that his greatest strength is that he is comfortable wherever the fight goes. I, co I know that's part of the, the process for MMA, but not everyone is, John. No, you always have your specialties. And uh, in fact, 
We'll see how things play out in the rematch between Danny Sabatello and Rafion Stotch coming up on the Bellator 301 main card. As Sabatello has told us that, yes, you'll see more offense in terms of striking. We will see he is a wrestling specialist. And now these two reset in the center of the cage. Absolutely. I can't wait for that fight. So, but taking a look at what is going on right now, Cody Law is starting to just take, he's starting to feel better about the fight. He's starting to take control of when the engagements are starting to occur. And Jefferson Pontes, the one thing he's got to do is settle down and start throwing straighter shots. Instead of that, that's beautiful. Straight up the middle, nice job. Don't get into winging big, heavy shots that you're missing because that's going to take a lot of energy off. with the jab, he's with the right. Final 10 seconds of the first five minutes of this featherweight matchup. Wintrust Arena in Chicago, Bellator 301. In round two, fight! And here comes the more aggressive Pontius. Putting the pressure on, looking to hit the home run with the right hand, and you mentioned, John, a little wild in his attack. Yeah, very wild. Nice jab from Law. He's really starting to overextend, and that's when you get caught. You gotta just settle down and just pick your shots. Those big looping shots are not something to start off with. He checked that kick, but then got caught with a combination upstairs from Law. The straighter the shot is, the faster it finds its home. Inside low kick scored by Law. is just trying to find a way close. And now again, just swinging wildly, and Law secures the takedown, the first takedown of the fight. After 0 for 1 in the opening round, and Luta Libre background that you talked about, John, does have two submission wins. And for Law, he is 7-2 and two with four knockouts and a submission. But here from top position, trying to, there you go, throw some punches and make uh, make the uh, fighter on his back pay. Are you cheering that man up? <laughs> Very nicely done. And Yevin, well, Sweet, one Jefferson good turn Pontus. deserves another. Great escape by Pontus, but here we go. You know, the, the thing a lot of people, when you're looking at, when you see Luto Libre, that's a guy that's learned jujitsu just like the, the wrestler has, mm -hmm. without the gi. He, he's doing it with just shorts on, a t-shirt. And so he's not used to all the, the holds of a gi, but he's used to all the hand holds of facing someone like he is right now in Cody Law. Yeah, Pondy's predicted that this fight would end with him having his hand raised after a submission, but right now against the fence, carrying the weight here of it. Cody Law. Very nice job yeah. again, Cody. For the ankle lock. Looking for heel hook a there. heel hook. Gotta be careful. You're open there. And both, again, going both for guys. it. Yeah, his legs out. Good scramble. Midway point of the round, and Law resets in the center of the cage. And I love that Jefferson was going for that heel hook, but you gotta be cognizant of Having a guy over you that's able to land punches, you gotta be careful where you're leaving your head open, trying Monty's, to look for that submission. Monty's a fan of the Igor Volchanchin approved uh, casting punches. <laughs> of course, Fedor Emelianenko used them to right degree, and boy, he just took a, a shot from La La, then changed levels, and there's, oh, watch those elbows, 12 to six, almost, not quite, close. Looking good. And what a, again, why can't there be 12 and 6? Times? It's, uh, let's just be honest, it's ridiculous, it needs to be changed. Wow. And hope, no, hopefully, I hear you. this next year, I'm, I'm, I'm going with it. I'm saying that they're going to do it. Monty's working from his back. Wow, extending, look for that Google Plata. Looking for it. Wow. Shimmy Aoki. Nice flexibility yeah. there. Yeah, very good flexibility. 
And he talked about his strengths in the submission department. The only difference you'd like to see is you'd like to see that leg come over the top to pull Cody's back and neck down into it. But it's, it's, it's got Law, pressure. Law's on. never been finished. His two losses be a decision. Just over a minute left in the second. The good news for uh, Law is he, this is all taking place in front of his uh, corner. He is listening to Mike Brown right now. And that's what he needs to do, just start opening up, because you can only take so many more before you have to move. And Law breaking the grip now with posture and delivering some ground and pound to Jefferson Pontis, who is pinned up against the fence. And this is how you start to slowly break down your opponent and make him wonder, another elbow. do I want to still be here? Oh, another elbow across the forehead by Law. And Cody Law continues to extend his advantage in the striking department. Jefferson Pontes hopes to be successful, hopes to prevail in his Bellator debut. And he's going to have to make up for a lack of offense thus far in terms of the strikes. He's also 0 for 2 in the takedown department. Yeah, well, he needs, he needs to have luck land on his side and, and to land one of those big haymakers because he could definitely hurt somebody with it. Yep. But just set it up, straight shots down the middle and make the last one the big haymaker as he's trying to exit away. Good interception. They're going downstairs. As Pontes was looking for strikes upstairs, and again, total strikes landed. John, I mean, out over 50 percent for Law. That's sensational. 18 percent for Pontes. Not as good. Not quite sensational. But he's, he's in the fight. You can see. It. Well, he's still looking for his ways to land shots, but yeah, the numbers tell a story. They don't always tell the whole story. Keep that tree. But in this stop, case, stop, 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 stop. Cody Law in control. As Pontus again, and you've mentioned it, John, over and over, overextending, lunging into his offensive yep. zone. Not giving himself a chance. And I really think the, the low leg kick that you're seeing Cody Law deploy here. Is and and a get on cue! On cue! On cue and on kick! Smart move by Cody Law. Here's a wrestler being intelligent, saying, you know what? And right away, he puts that foot to the back. But he's not the same guy. Look at him. Contest has been compromised as a fighter. Cody Law methodical, setting him in his sights. Pontes looking to try to survive somehow with just over three minutes left. Looking to pull guard, looking for a desperation submission. And there, Law kicking the injured leg. Look, go back to it. You have a chance of getting him out of this fight. But he needs to take his time now. Don't rush in. Just look for those opportunities because as Pontes leans there, nice footwork will put you in range to hit the other leg since that's what he wants to put out there now instead of that left leg. The guts and the heart of Jefferson Pontes on display having problems putting weight on what was his lead leg. Now fighting out of a southpaw position, gets a haircut from Mike, or Cody Laws, high oh, kick. That was a shame. <laughs> oh, nice right hand from Pontes, still standing, and back to orthodox. You can so, tell Pontes is not comfortable in the southpaw position, so he's having to go back to orthodox, but that puts What's that the leg up zone? front. And there's another kick by Cody Law. Pontus going upstairs with the right hand. Under two minutes left in the fight. Can Cody Law close the show on the compromise Jefferson Pontus? And every time Cody Law should be looking, at, watching that leg, and as he steps up, brings that knee up, because he likes to raise it in a Muay Thai fashion. You know it's coming down. Launch the kick as it's starting to come down. And when you 
don't have balance for it's so difficult to fight. Oh, the head kick. Nice spot. Nicely done. And there, modified Minari roll by Pontes looking again for the leg lock, trying desperately to find a way, but it's Cody Law, top position, half guard. Elbow from Law from top side. Series of elbows. Under a minute left in the fight. Nicely done by Cody Law because look, this is the point where you get in that fight. Pontes didn't realize that he could lose a fight. Now he's in that position. It's like, I don't know how to stop what's occurring. I'm, I'm hurting. He's never been there before, and all these thoughts are going through his head. This is a hard moment to work through. 6 and 0 with four finishes coming into his Bellator debut. Pontes has been in dire straits courtesy of the offense of Cody Law, who in his 10th fight all under the Bellator banner, showcasing his well rounded arsenal. And Montes just neutralizing the hands momentarily. Hammer fist, there's elbows now from Law. Under 10 seconds left in the fight. Cody Law looking to finish, but the clock Pontes. may be his biggest enemy. Pontes cut open. And Pontes is cut. Ladies and gentlemen, for the decision, we'll go now to your three judges at cage side. Brian Pugillo, Scott Jones, Eric Colon. I'll have it exactly the same 30 to 27. I'll have it for the winner by unanimous decision, Cody Long.